kind of looks like it's molding into the background there, and the same time it's 3D in the foreground. Okay, so let's continue to do what we're doing. Now, just like how I did with this piece, I'm going to do it with the exact others. And how I'm going to do this, I'm going to do... Edit. Yeah, it's already copied it. Okay. So let's just do another one. This one, for example. Whoops. Whoops. What the hell? Oh. Okay, that's fine. There you go. Like that. Edit. Paste in two. And and it's not in there, and I know why. Okay. Select, select. I made a mistake again. Let's try. Let's actually for for a different look at things. Let's take another piece from him. Um. Let's take the pink this time. A little bit of that too. Let's just take that. And it copy. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Wrong layer. There we go. And now you're going to edit copy again. Let's try that again. There we go. Copy that time. Now we're going to go to the other layer we just were at, which has... these things, and let's select it again with the magic wand, like that, edit, paste in two, there we go, we got it that time. Now you got this, edit free transform, and trying to figure out how I want it now. I guess that's good enough right there. Okay. And now let's go to liquid five. Let's play with it. There we go. See? It's actually. Oh. Fuck. Kind of liked that. <laughs> ah. Now it's got a hole in it. Do that way too much. Well, that would be interesting. <laughs> And now I got the hole again. <laughs> and I got several holes. <laughs> but <laughs> just keep trying. Okay, that's good. To edit free transform again. Get the exact area we want it. And so you can even leave a little bit of the original vector in there if we want to. I like that actually, I like the combination of that. Let's get in there with the blur tool a bit. Blur it around. And now, let's get in there with this. <laughs> Didn't mean the pattern overlay. Um, opacity down, 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 down. Drop shadow. I 
got affects both shadows. Remember that. <laughs> Trying to get so you can still see it. See that? There we go. Just play with the distance and spread and size. And the opacity, of course. I want to change this angle a bit. There we go. It's a little better. There we go. Now you can see both of them. Okay. There. Actually, I might want to put in the underglow. Do I want to do that or do I not want to do that? Doing both of them. Actually, I kind of like that. And so now I got two different um, designs going on with that. And I think we're going to put a little bit more in. And then we're going to jazz him up a bit. Let's do the rest of these. <laughs> I'm going to be a little more fast about it this time. Hmm. Let's just take this again. Like so. And it copy. I love this technique. It's great. Ah. Yeah, I always remember we were on the right layer. <laughs> Okay, now edit copy. And then go to your other layers. This will probably be the longest tutorial I do is on the one on, on brushes. <laughs> And now we're going to select the brush I want. I'm just trying to figure out which one I want. I think I'll do this one. Or this one. Hmm. Not liking how they're selecting because they're part of a, a paint stamp. And sometimes the stamp can be made of like a rectangle or something. It'll look really weird when it's actually um, pasted into. So to prevent that, we can do this a different way. We can make a selection via polygon lasso tool. And I just lost my Photoshop there. Mm -hmm. It's a little hard to see. And I should probably zoom in. Zoom in a bit. Oh, oh duh. just going to select around it. doesn't have to be perfect. You can do the same thing with the pen tool, but uh, be careful. Sometimes it'll do that to you. Like I was saying, do the exact same thing with the pen tool, but it's not as good because the pen tool is better at making renders and cutting things out. I don't really use it that much to make selections. But sometimes I do. Depends on what I'm doing.